So, so it's good to see you back. We got everything lined up for you now. Since we have the report from the nail study, we know exactly the organisms that's causing your nails to look this way. Okay. So you actually have two organisms. You have a yeast and you have a fungus. Okay. Just causing this thickness, the brittleness. So now that we know exactly what the organism is by name, we'll be able to uh, get you on the right medication in the right direction to get all this squared away. There we go. The machine to help me with most of the thickness. Have your nails been causing you any discomfort? No, not no. lately. Good. There we go. I got like that now. Now, because of the thickness of the nails, yeah. using anything topically, that is, applying things directly to the toenails. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to be very effective. Because the medication not only has to work on the surface of the nail, but it has to get down to the nail bed. Yeah. Yeah. And so nothing really topically will penetrate nails of this thickness. Okay. So I'm going to put you on an oral medication for three months. Okay. Right. The name of that medication is Terbenefin. Terbenefin. Benefit, yeah. Okay. And the um, before it went generic, it was known as Lamisil. Okay. I think I remember. Yeah, they used to have a commercial about it on mm. TV. Very effective. Okay. But you know, safe medication as long as the patient doesn't have any adverse liver history. All right, you don't have any liver problems that we know of, right? No history of uh, hepatitis or no. cirrhosis or anything like no. that underlying. No. But even that being the case, because the medication is processed chiefly by the liver, mm. and that's how your body gets gets rid of it, yeah. we're going to uh, get some blood work done to make sure that the liver is good and healthy before we write the prescription. And as soon as you get them done, we'll have the results the next day and we can send a prescription out. Okay. Right, so you said I gotta take blood work. Yeah, just get some blood work done. Make sure that the liver is nice and healthy. Cause every now and then we'll do the blood work and then we'll see some elevated liver values. So before we finally Put the person on the medication. We'll have to uh, send you back to your primary doctor to investigate that a little further. So do I do? So you you saying you go to my primary doctor to get that? Um, that's that's if we find anything abnormal in mm -hmm. the blood work. Mm -hmm. If the blood work is fine. We'll be able to go right to the prescription. Okay. I got a, another question. Sure, like, go ahead. Like, like right now, I got a, a real tingling in my foot. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I know I was sitting in that water for a minute, but mm -hmm. I, it's, it's usually would have calmed down by now. Uh, have you ever experienced that before? Um, every now and then, it's mm -hmm. not like like uh, something that normally happens, but it, I guess with old age, you know, I'm not old, even, mm -hmm. so I can't say that. 
Do you, do you have any known uh, lower back issues? Uh, well, I do, yeah, I do experience with the, uh, lower back issues. Okay. Do you, have you have anything that's been diagnosed, like an yeah. issue with the disc or the, uh, the vertebrae themselves? Not that I know of, no. So what have you been experiencing with your lower back? I just feel bad pains. Um, um, pains that sometimes make me have to stop what I'm doing and just sit down, you know, or when I'm sitting down, it, it, uh, it hurts so bad that I have to lay down. How long has this been going on? Uh, well, let's say for the last three or three, four months. Wow. Now, do you have you had any uh, injury or traumatic event that happened involving yeah, your back? A fall, know. car accident, anything yeah, you can I think of? Know. How about sleeping? Does it interfere with your sleeping? Sometimes. I usually have to take some uh, sleeping pills or whatever to kind of absorb the pain while I'm, while I'm trying to sleep. Okay. So another thing we'll do for you, because it sounds like the reason why you're getting the tingling because of what's going on with your back. Okay. Now, the back thing could be just a muscle issue. Right. Muscle tightness or, you know, it's, uh, could it be activity related or work related or anything like that? Well, I'm not working, so it's, it can't be that. Um, mm -hmm. um, and, and my activities are not, are not, not too strenuous that I would have to. Mm -hmm. to uh, it would be causing me to have real bad back problems. Mm -hmm. Does it cause any difficulty in? your daily activities like getting dressed and no. bathing and things like that? No. Well that being the case, I'm also going to send you out to get an x-ray of your back okay. because that is not normal, especially in the absence of any traumatic event yeah. or something that's not activity or work related mm -hmm. and to get that tingling in your foot after sitting from a certain position. I mean, we all get that, yeah. especially if you sit in one spot in a right. while, but typically it goes away after you yeah. change positions or get up and walk around. Right. But the fact that you, you're having pain to the point where you have to lie down, mm -hmm. then that's something that needs to be investigated. So I'll also send you out to get an x-ray of your back, make sure there's no signs of any arthritis of the spine, or any signs of any issues with the disc between the vertebrae. Cool. Yeah. Here we go with that. Okay. All right. Feeling better? Yeah. Nice. Yes, sir. My girlfriend is uh, saying that she sometimes she says you better put on some socks because you ain't chopping me up in the morning. <laughs> Every day. I said, you, you can afford it. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so she get it done every day? Uh, she pays to have it done every day? Really? Mm -hmm. Where does she go for that? Um, I forget what she, what she says she goes. She says she goes, yeah, she goes every day. Really? Pedicure pet and, and have, have the doctors look at the feet and everything for you. Hmm. She says she loves to loves take care of her feet, feet and nails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she don't really worry about the head too much, but the hit the feet and the nails. I don't want to know where she because is it, is it just a regular salon she's going to? Because she's doing that, she's paying at least thirty bucks a walk. No.
tell her, it's her body, she do what she wants to do. If I gotta pay for it, she, she'll be in the doghouse for a while, I'll tell you that. I can't afford it, I can't even afford that. So, the only way I can afford new clothes is to go to formal, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Can they take it? Can whoever's taking the blood take it out of my hair? Yeah.
This is Dr. Kevin Jefferson. Thank you for watching this video. Like it and subscribe to the channel for more great foot health information. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Follow me on social media at DC Foot Doctor. I appreciate your comments and questions. Most importantly, take care of your feet.